everybody, um, little bonus. Uh, it is Motherless Day. Uh, well, I was actually my actual real job day. Um, it's Monday, um, March the 21st of 2022, and it's about 10 o'clock. I am sitting here in what is one of my two safe rooms, um, or what will be two safe rooms, still probably the safest rooms um, here in the house. And so as you can probably get, can you stop that? Thank you. Um, that's Hess. She's living her best life in here. Um, they think this is pretty fun. Um, so, uh, as you can probably guess, we've had some pretty significant weather events, um, this evening, actually all day. So we've had, uh, one line of tornadoes and, uh, storms and we were very blessed and fortunate and, um, we're getting through the tail end of the second line, uh, hopefully. Um, by some miracle, I feel very blessed. Uh, the storm actually kind of split and went around currents on both sides. Uh, and I know a lot of other people weren't as lucky. Uh, I've seen that there were a number of touchdowns, a number of cities uh, have some pretty significant loss. And so my thoughts and prayers are with those people tonight and um, you know, hope for healing and rebuilding for them in the future. Um, but I wanted to share with you kind of a funny family story uh, related to safe rooms. Uh, and maybe this will bring a little bit of cheer. Uh, so I am in my makeshift room for now. I kind of seize the opportunity if I'm going to have to be here. Um, it actually turned out to not be so bad, but I figured I'd go ahead and clean everything out. So Zeus hung out with me for most of the time. This is Hess. She's checking things out now. Um, she was the silly one that decided to go get in the rain, but, um, anyway, so I have cleaning products and extra batteries and a bottle of water and I got my scanner. Dad's really proud of that. Um, he's made me a list of all the channels. I don't even know how to work all of it, but he did all of that. So I appreciate it. Um, got my light and I've actually got some oil here. I'm actually rubbing down, I don't know if you can see, um, this gorgeous floor. So it's not been, I don't think it's been treated in quite some time. I still have some work to do out that direction. Uh, but I'm under the stairs, and this will eventually be um, the little bathroom uh, down here on the first floor. It was originally a pantry, and uh, most recently it was a laundry room, which I figured washers and dryers could keep me safe if I needed it. Um, but these will actually probably be sold. Uh, because they're not quite the dimensions that I want. So if anybody's interested, let me know. Um, I'm also really appreciating this wallpaper. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but uh, it's pretty fantastic. So this is a wallpaper that's original to the house and it's been varnished. Um, but unfortunately it's actually been damaged quite a bit with water over the years, but still pretty cool. So I'm going to try and take a sample of it. So we'll have it. And I just have these two pieces of chipboard to take down. Um, so that's kind of what I've been doing. Got my, one of my favorite hammers. If I'm going to go out, I'm going to go out with a good hammer. Um, and I've been taking the random nails off the wall and just peeling little pieces off and kind of wiping things up and, you know, making myself useful. So anyways, um, yeah, so I am here in one of the two safe rooms. Um, but uh, we kind of have an inside family joke and I wanted to share that with you just so you would kind of uh, be able to laugh with us a little bit uh, because I just got the text message that my sister's good. Uh, she's in Waco. So anyways, um, if you don't know me, a lot of you guys do, I grew up in a house that was built in 1903 in Corsicana, uh, which is the county seat here in Navarra County and not too far away, it's about 15 minutes away. Um, it's actually uh, across from a gorgeous uh, school called Drain High School, uh, which was um, just a, a fantastic building. Still is. Um, I hope they always see value in it and take care of it um, because you can't build them like that anymore. It's a fallout shelter. Um, it, you know, it has definitely stood the test of time. So anyways, uh, we've always kind of looked out for that building and we're right across the street from it. Uh, which also means that's one of the reasons why I do this kind of thing is I've lived it and I kind of knew what I was getting into. Um, so, uh, yeah, I was probably in undergrad, I think, and maybe home for either spring break or summer break, something like that. 
um, visiting mom and dad were in the living room and there was kind of uh, rain and, and stormy weather winds and stuff, but nothing really to be worried about. No tornado warnings or anything like what's going on today. Um, so we're sitting in the living room, hang out and talking and uh, we hear this massive bang and we're thinking, is there a car accident? What's going on? So, um, mom and I jump up and we run outside. We run on the porch, don't see anything, go out the gate. We have a big, huge wrought iron gate. Um, around the property, uh, run down the street towards the neighbor's house, and it turns out that a transformer at the very end of the block blew. Um, so we're, you know, chit-chatting about that, visiting the neighbors, all those things, and all of a sudden the winds just incredibly pick up, just real hard and fast, um, to the point where it's actually lifting up rocks and it's hitting us, you know, in the face and the eyes and the arms, we're getting injured. So um, one of the neighbors yells, come and get on our porch. Um, so we did that. We stood on the porch for a little bit, um, trying to get out of the, the way of these really strong winds. And we're looking off towards the school, uh, waiting for a time to safely get back to our own house and obviously take real shelter. Um, at that point, we're watching Drain School, uh, one of the uh, awnings. They have uh, several walkways that have uh, covered awnings that is lifting up and peeling back because of these really strong high winds. So we know we're not in a good spot, <laughs> um, but we find kind of a little gap in between uh, the wind gusts. And it turns out that that day they were actually straight line winds. And so we make a mad dash back to the house, back through the gate, back on the porch. We get to the front door and my dad is so ticked off matter than an old wet hen. He is chunking things all around the the um, hallway. Uh, the house has a main hallway right in the middle. And I mean, he is just ticked. Something about Tupperware. I'm like, what's the deal? So um, in our house, uh, the house that I grew up in, uh, we also have a safe room. Dad reinforced the walls and um, the doors and all those kinds of things. And um, so in that safe room, it also doubles as the pantry, as one does. Um, always a really good idea, a good use for that space. Um, lots of places to put your canning and all that stuff. And Zeus says hello. Um, so that was obviously where we kept all of that. Well, naturally, you also store your extra Tupperware there. Um, or at least that's what my family did. <laughs> um, but it was so much of it that... Um, you couldn't get into the room when you actually needed your safe room. So that's actually what my dad was throwing was all the Tupperware back out. And, um, you know, he was just really ticked that, you know, we might all die, but the Tupperware will be safe. And um, so that's become a family joke, a running joke. Um, we checked on my sister to make sure her Tupperware was safe. Everybody um, should know that, that Mandy's Tupperware is safe. Um, or Helen, some of you guys know her as Helen. Um, so that's good. And um, I don't have any Tupperware, but um, again, I was just very blessed, I think, this evening. So I'm just kind of seizing the opportunity now. Um, I clean when I'm nervous anyway, so <laughs> that, that worked out anyways. Um, yeah, my Tupperware is safe. I hear everybody's Tupperware is safe um, in the family, so that's, uh, that's good. And, um, you know, just to add to that, another thing that, uh, that came up with um, us was um, Christmas Day. Mom was at work um, back when she worked at the hospital and dad and I are actually looking at this house um, before I bought it. So I was pretty sure I was going to buy it, but we're sprinting through and <laughs> we run very quickly by this other room that's just here around the corner. Uh, you can see this was a uh, laundry room most recently. I'm going to be getting rid of those, but um, the other room we run by it, dad and I both whisper to each other really loudly Tupperware room and we just keep on running up the stairs you know because we're just trying to get kind of a quickly at the land of um, the layout of the house and everything so um, yeah I, I will say that um, I'm very blessed and fortunate that all of my Tupperware is safe all my dad's Tupperware is safe Mandy's Tupperware is safe I hope your Tupperware is safe um, and for those of you who I know um, weren't as fortunate this evening um, I, I wish you a very quick and uh, a brief recovery and um, rebuild and uh, hopefully our community can come together to help you. So um, lots of prayers for everybody that has uh, been devastated this evening. Um, anyways, you guys take care. Have a fantastic rest of your week and we shall talk soon.